Uh, welcome to Satla, uh, our application uh, called the Smart Teaching and Learning application. And we try to move uh, teaching and learning from traditional perspective to uh, online uh, learning and learner-centered uh, teaching and learning. Um, this is a mobile app that will be used uh, uh, to provide a solution for learning experiences as, as a challenge for Palestine. And um, in, in a very quick review, I would like to show you how this uh, app uh, works. This is a prototype and it's in the process uh, to be an actual app. Um, to come here, you need to uh, choose uh, how to, to log in is either as a teacher or as a student. So if you click here, that will take you to the home page that has four sections. So we have learning styles teaching methods, assessment tools, and resources. Um, in, in learning styles, the idea is that learners learn differently. And this is a fact. Some people are visual, other people uh, uh, are audio, uh, audio visual, et cetera. So in teaching and learning, we, re we really need to take into account the different learning styles of students. So if you click here, that would take you to the types of learning styles and resources. The types of learning styles, we have uh, visual, as I said, solitary, et cetera. If you click on this one, visual, for example, it will provide you with details about uh, the uh, learners who learn uh, uh, visually. Keep in mind that there are other classifications of learning styles that put more than one learning style together. And also keep in mind that learners, even with those learning styles, they can stretch outside their area and they can learn new learning styles. Now, why are we saying this? We believe that this is very important for the learner to know, for the teacher and the learner to know their uh, learning styles. If they know how they learn, that will lead us to the second point, which is teaching methods or teacher or teaching methods or activities if you wish so in designing our courses in studying as students uh, and learners we um, we need to be because we have different learning styles we should be exposed to different activities and teach different teaching methods activities there are many of them 25 30 of them if you look at what we have here, for example, some of the activities like organizing events, exper experiment, uh, projects, uh, role play, etc. you name it. You click on one of them, it will take you to another page that will uh, tell you how to do an activity, how to organize an activity, how to, to design your activity with examples, uh, as well as some resources that would help the learner and the teacher uh, to, to learn. In this case, we use the teacher. So this page is for the teacher. Going back, I mean, this applies to all of the kinds of activities that can be done. And again, uh, <clears throat> there is another area, which is, uh, you know, with the pandemic and the situation right now, people really need to know how to find good ways to engage their students and teachers to be engaged with their students as well. So clicking at the engagement uh, tools provides us with four stakeholders. Uh, teachers, students, university or school, or school, and family. And each one can actually, uh, uh, can, we can engage the teacher uh, in different ways. Uh, there are things that the teacher should do before the class. There are things that he, should, he or she should do during the class and things that should be done after the class. And, and uh, those are really good tips for the teachers so they know how to engage with their students. This applies to students family, uh, uh, as well as university. Uh, and of course, there is a button that takes you to resources that provides with the user with, uh, with so many resources. Um, and so, so learning styles are different. If they are different, we should teach them differently by doing different activities. And this way we meet their learning styles. Now, if, 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 we, if we do this, we need to complete the circle and provide our students as teachers with assessment and different kinds of assessment. In other words, if we do a lot of activities and then at the end of the day, we do tests, only tests that does not really align or match it. So what we need to do is we need to know their learning styles and our st as students know our learning styles, uh, teaching methods and activities and, and develop the activities and make assessment to them. Assessment, we have assessment tools and resources. In assessment tools, you look at organizing events, for example, the same one that we used, 
uh, as an activity, this same one becomes uh, a, a, an assessment tool. If you click on it, it will tell you organizing events, how to make it as an assessment. Basically, a few things to keep in mind, you need to develop a rubric and you need to do alignment between the teaching uh, intended learning outcomes and the teaching that you did. So you match this and then uh, we will show here examples and some resources on how to do rubrics, how to, to organize uh, your activity and how to assess your activity. Um, and then at the end, you will be able to see the last one, of course, resources, and then go back to the main page. And the main page it provides you with another buy-in that has all the kinds of resources and that are available, including the activities that the teachers do and examples of them. So teachers can share any kind, all teachers that are member in this app or you know, um, have an account in this app, they will be able to uh, basically uh, put their experiences and share it with others. Same rule applies to the students. Uh, when the students go to that uh, account, they will be able to go and benefit from all these aspects as well as provide their experiences. If they've done something, some work that they did, they can upload it as in their account. They can make a story out of it and students will be interested to know how it is. it happens. So the overall idea, back to the main page of our uh, uh, app, uh, we're talking about smart teaching and learning. And to be smart, the rule says that anything that get, gets measured improves. So if we are able to know the, our learners' learning styles and we work with them on different teaching styles and different uh, uh, presentations, et cetera, projects, and be fair with them so we need to assess them fairly. If we do this process, we guarantee that learning is enhanced, people are learning, people are learning from each other. That's why this app will provide a, kind of an interactive way with the students or the learners and the stakeholders in general. Again, for the learners, they have their own account and people can go inside and use that. One aspect that I should mention and finish with is that this app it can be embedded in other uh, platforms. It can also be a part, it has a website so people can use the laptop to use it and it will work for on, on Android as well as uh, iOS. Thank you so much.